Hello, this is Erin from Juniper and Oaks. I am a crochet pattern designer and recently I've been doing a lot of overlay mosaic crochet patterns such as this one. This is the monthly mosaic mystery cow. Nine or 12 different stripes, each one released each month in the year 2022. And we are ready to add the envelope border on. As you can see, I have already worked up my envelope border on my big blanket here. But if you've been working this blanket along with us, or if you're just working up your own overlay mosaic crochet pattern, you'll know that your ends will be looking like this. And instead of weaving in all of these ends on a big blanket, uh, we're gonna make an envelope border and it's a double border. So what that means is we'll do a border on the back side and a border on the front side, and then uh, we'll seam them together and these ends will be hidden inside. Okay, I have a, another envelope border tutorial on my YouTube in my blog for the month or for the mosaic Nordic cow, another blanket cow using overlay mosaic design. I ran that cow a little bit different or I started my ends, my border stitches were a little bit different for the monthly mosaic mystery cow. And I, uh, for the mosaic Nordic cow, I used different border stitches, um, beginning and ending border stitches than I did for this one. So if you, uh, worked up my uh, your border stitches similar to how I did in the mosaic Nordic cow then you'll want to watch that video and see that tutorial but if you've done the same here where I have started by securing with a slip stitch um, and chaining one and doing a single crochet in that first stitch you've done it uh, chain one and single crochet in this first border stitch and then just a regular single crochet in the last border stitch um, this tutorial is for you I have like I said for my mosaic Nordic cow my beginning and ending border stitches are a little bit different and you can see they have these beautiful V's right here um, to do the envelope border for these border stitches there's a different tutorial but these ones here we'll be using this tutorial um, and so let's get started like I said I have already worked up my envelope border in here my ends are secured nicely in this double envelope border um, already so I will be teaching you how to do that envelope border on this little swatch here this is something I was trying to make up a coaster a while back and then just I found this half made coaster and I thought this will be a great project to teach you all on so you can see here's my beginning border stitches and this is how I used to start my each row was I would secure it on with a chain one and then do a single crochet in that first stitch then work my mosaic pattern and then end it with a single crochet in that last stitch for my ending border stitch so this tutorial for the envelope border is for this method let's go ahead and get started I will be using the same yarn. I got little scraps of the same yarn that I used up for my monthly mosaic mystery cow blanket. So I'll be using that yarn just so you can see what it looks like um, with a little bit of contrast so that you can easily find the stitches. There are a few different ways of doing envelope borders. Like I said, I have a different tutorial you can follow for those nice V uh, stitch stitches. Um, there is a slip stitch option where you can go slip stitch all the way around and then using the front side and the back side of those slip stitches uh, to work up your border. Uh, I know Tina has that uh, method available and I know that Rosina also has her own uh, beginning and or her own envelope borders options 
Um, this method that I am teaching you, I think I first learned, um, I adapted from Heather Noble Designs, and what we're going to be doing is half double crochets in uh, the front post. Front post half double crochet stitches. Okay, before we get started actually crocheting the double envelope border, uh, we're going to deal with these ends a little bit. So I like to tie mine together just to make sure that they're extra secure in there and that your project isn't going to fall apart. <laughs> That's always just a fear we have with these handmade items, right? So I'm going to group two of these ends together and then tie them around my finger and secure them with a little knot like this. Group two together, tie them around your finger, pull through and secure the knot. I try to secure it close to the body of work. You're gonna do that all the way along the sides both sides of your blanket and there are going to be a lot more ends than there are in my little swatch here so it's going to take a bit of time but I think that it's well worth it just for that peace of mind that your ends are going to be very well secure so then you do it along your other side as well you know you could tie both ends together a different way but I think that's just a little bit messier like if you just tied them Together like this. I think this just lays nice and flat inside the envelope border. Okay, so like so, this green part is my bottom of my work. Then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and then cut my ends so they're about like one inch in length. Here, cut those one inch in length. Just because I have them sitting right here, I want to show you all of the ends that I cut off for my mosaic uh, monthly mystery cow. Um, look at this. <laughs> that is a lot of ends that I cut off. Uh, I did that last night, so I just happened to have them sitting here. I don't know what I'll do with them, just probably throw them away. But, um, maybe I'll use them to stuff an amigurumi project, I don't know. Okay. So now we're ready to actually start working up the border. I like to start on the back side, on the bottom. So what we're going to do is flip it. So now the bottom is on the top. I'm gonna to flip it this way. So I'm gonna start right here, which is actually the bottom, right? So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna use the bits of the yarn that was left from my Lion Brand yarn from my monthly mosaic, Mystery Cow. I'd made my slip knot here. So, like we had talked about earlier, there is a bunch of different ways to do the border, envelope borders, but because of the way I did my beginning and ending border stitches, I am going to do show you a front post half double crochet envelope border. I have seen different ways to start the first round. Um, the first way I learned was doing slip stitch in every stitch and row all the way around and then working um, in those stitches in order to do the uh, borders, the envelope border. Instead of working the slip stitches, I think that is so tedious and it's really hard because you have to go down a hook size and you have to just work your stitches a little bit looser in order to make it work. 
I just don't have the patience or the time for that. So I had seen Heather Noble Designs do a border similar to this, so I thought I would adapt it to my own and uh, work it up this way for the monthly mosaic mystery cow. If you worked up your border stitches uh, similar to how I did it in the mosaic Nordic cow, where you have these really nice V stitches um, and you're kind of working into the post of your stitch for the beginning and ending border stitches, you'll want to follow my other video tutorial um, and actually work in those stitches. Um, like here. You'll be working in there instead of doing a front post half double you'll be working uh, in the the V's like so along the side um, but since these don't really these don't really have the V's on these border stitches the way that I did them uh, we're going to be working in the front post and <clears throat> I'll show you how I do that so like I said, I start on the back side and I'm using my color A for the back side. I'm using the Great Smoky Mountains color. And I'm going to work a standing half double crochet in the front post. So I'm going to start by yarning over, holding my yarn secure here. And then I can pick any stitch that I really want on the back side. Just kind of the, the corner. So front post, I'm going to grab that post like so. Yarn over and pull th through. Now yarn over. Ah, that's not a... <laughs> I kind of lost it there. That wasn't a half double. That was just a single crochet. Okay. So I did my yarn over. I put my yarn through the post, did a front post there. And we're going to finish off and just do the half double crochet. Okay, that's the first stitch, a standing half double crochet in the front post. Now all the way around in every stitch, we're gonna do a half double front post, front post half double crochet. Oops, I split my yarn there, so you gotta watch me do this one again. I'll do it in slow motion so you can if you don't know what I'm doing, you can follow along. Yarn over, grab that front post, pull the yarn through, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Find the next stitch, the front post. Front post half double crochet around every stitch all the way around. Okay, here's the last stitch of the row. So I'm going to work my front post half double crochet around that one. Then in every corner, we're gonna work that last stitch, then a chain two. And then in the same stitch, work another front post half double crochet. And that will kind of turn us, and now we're going to be working along the rows or ends that are tied together right here. So we're not really going to do anything different along the sides. We get to do the front post, kind of find that row, and work a front post half double crochet right there as well. Yarn over, and you can see here is the next row, and work your half double crochet in the front post right there as well. You're going to do that all the way along the sides. Until you get to the corner again.
Okay, here's the last row here again. So we're still going to do our front post, half double crochet, chain two, and then in that same stitch, do a front post, half double crochet. Now we're ready to work up along the top side here. Do the same where we yarn over, find our front post, and do a half double crochet. We're going to do that all along the top. And then once we get to the corner, you work it your half double crochet, chain two, front post, half double crochet, and then work all down the side. And then work your corner, your half double, chain two, half double. And then work along and I will meet you here for our last stitch where we're going to do an invisible join. Okay, so here we have the last post, last stitch here. I'm going to work my last half double crochet in the front post. <clears throat> then in order to connect them, I'm going to pull my yarn out a little bit insert my hook through the top of that first stitch. So I'm going to do that again. I just took out my hook. I'm going to go in from right there, back side, top of that first stitch, and put my yarn back on. Cinch it a little bit tight, and then just pull that through. And I just like the way that looks. For an invisible join and then you kind of like un untangle the yarn a little bit making sure that we are just ready to go okay then we're ready for round two of that back border I do now for rows two and three I'm just gonna work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. For round one we did a front post half double crochet. So now we're just doing a regular half double crochet in each stitch. Yarn over and go through those both of those top loops for your half double crochet. Okay I've gotten to the part where it is a Got to the chain two in my corner. So I'm going to work a half double crochet in that chain two. Then I'm going to chain two. And then work another half double crochet in that chain two space. And that's how I'm going to work in my corners. Okay. I'm going to work a half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet in all my corners. And then along the side, we're going to do the same. Just half double crochet in each stitch. That's how we're going to work round two and three. We're just working a half double crochet in each stitch around. In the corners you do a half double crochet in this chain two space, chain two, half double crochet in the chain two space. I'll show you that corner one more time. And then I'll leave you to do round two and three. Okay, so here we are at the chain two space. Here we are at the chain two space. Insert your hook. Phew, my yarn got a little bit split there, didn't it? Okay, I'll start that again. So here we are at the chain two space. So we're going to do a half double crochet in that space. Chain two more and work another half double crochet in that chain two space. And then find the next stitch and work a half double crochet. Okay, so work that up, up the rest of round two and do the same thing for round three where you do your invisible join at the end of the round and then work half double crochet in each stitch round.
and then do your corners with half double, chain two, half double. I'll see you when we are ready for the front. Okay, can we just pretend that I worked up uh, another round? So, pretend I have my two rounds, my three rounds of my border stitch. I have a kid who's just not napping, and so this isn't going to work. I just I gotta get this done fast, <laughs> okay? I really want this tutorial for you guys. So we're gonna pretend uh, that I've done round three. Round three is just the same as round two, um, but it's just gonna extend it out a bit more so that our ends really get covered up on the sides. Okay, so we have three rounds. Uh, we did our invisible join here. I am not going to fasten off my color A at the end of this round because I'm going to pick that back up when I am securing my double border when I'm seaming it together. So I'm just going to take out my hook and I'm going to put a stitch marker here so that it just saves the yarn, it doesn't come out, and I don't have to fasten off. Okay, so isn't that cute? It's a little butterfly. So now I am ready to do the front border and we're going to work it just the same as we did our back border. We're going to do it on the front. So we turn our work here. <coughs> and then we take our color B, which is the Conqueree. And we're going to work our uh, front post half double crochet. You can see because I've used contrasting colors that our stitches now kind of look like this, where we have a bit of the color A, the gray color, peeking through. So we're going to be working around those posts and we'll try to kind of hide the color, but if you, uh, you know, are working up the monthly mosaic mystery cow, you won't really be able to see all the contrast is because the colors we're using are the right colors. We're right here, now we have four different colors. Okay, I am going to be working a standing half double crochet in the front post uh, all the way around. Or, well, the first stitch is gonna be standing. So to do that, I'm gonna yarn over and then you see these grays that are poking out. That's from our back border. And we're gonna try to cover those up by working below. So we grab the front post here and we're gonna be working below those loops. But because these this border is contrasting the colors here, just so you can see what I'm doing, um, it's not really gonna be noticeable, as noticeable as it is uh, right now. Because when you're working up a two colored it and using the same colors for your border it's just gonna blend in a lot better than if we're using these contrasting colors so don't worry too much about that so we made our standing half double crochet in the front post and now we're going to be working in the front post of each stitch all the way around it's very similar to the back border on the now we're working on the front side and we're working a little bit below those back border stitches. Oops. Here we are in the corner. We did our front post, then we chain two, and then we're gonna go in that same stitch again for our front post. Now along the sides, you can see, because you have our gray here, uh, where our stitches are gonna go, our front post. post half double crochets and so now we're just going to be working exactly the same as we did the front post or the back border 
we're going to be working in the front border all the way around and working our corners as a front post half double crochet, chain two, front post half double crochet, and we're going to do three rows For rounds rows two and three we're just going to be doing half double crochet in the stitch not minding about the front post part so I will meet you when we are ready to seam up our stitches we're gonna seam up our borders after we've done our three rounds of our back border and our front border Okay, here we are at the end of round two of our front side border. Remember, we're, gonna, we're just going to pretend that round two is actually round three, and we're going to call it done just because I'm having to deal uh, with my not napping kids at home, and I just want to get this video done. So we just did, I just finished with that invisible join right there, in hopes that that will just look okay on our border. So now that we're done with round three, we're pretending this is round three, I'm going to fasten off with my color B. And then we're just going to make sure that all of our ends, sometimes maybe we want to tie these two ends together. We want to secure all of our ends inside the border. So after we've done uh, round three of both the back border and the front border, then we are ready to start seaming them together. Here's that stitch marker that I placed on our back border so that I wouldn't lose, I wouldn't lose my stitch. So I'm going to hide all those ends in here. And now working on the front side, I'm going to grab this color A that's on the back side and I'm going to just work single crochets through both borders. Just regular single crochets but I'm going through both borders. So going in from the front through those top two loops and then finding the stitch in the back that matches through those back loops and doing a single crochet. And so we are just going to single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Then on each corner in those chain two space we're going to work three single crochets in those stitches. So you should have basically the same amount of stitches all the way around. If you find that maybe you have an extra one, you can kind of finagle it so that it looks even. <laughs> We're just making sure that all the ends get hidden because the purpose of the double border is so that we don't have to weave in any ends in. Get one more stitch right here before we get to, oops, sorry guys. One more stitch here before we get to our corner. So here we are at the corner where we have our chain two space and I'm just going to work three double crochet or single crochets, this is US terms, three single crochets in every corner and then we're ready to work down the side. So here we have our ends, just make sure those are tucked in nice. They're sticking out a little bit because I only did two rounds. We want to do three rounds of our half double crochet border all the way around. But just for time's sake, I've done two. So make sure you do three rounds of your half double crochet border, and then we seam them together with the single crochet stitch going through 
both borders just to seam those together. Okay, you work a single crochet in every stitch all the way around both borders. So you're seaming them together, you're sewing those together. You make sure that your ends are tucked in. And then in every corner you have that chain two space. So make sure you're working three single crochets through both of the chain two spaces to seam them together. Right, and then in the end, what you have is this lovely double border, this envelope border for your monthly mosaic mystery cow. And I am so excited that this project is finished. It's been a year and a year long project. So many of you have been crocheting along uh, and it's just been super, super lovely. Thank you so much for crocheting. I want to give a shout out to uh, Furl's Crochet for giving me this hook to use for my, my monthly mosaic mystery cow. And I want to thank you to Lion Brand for the yarn. This is uh, Heartland yarn in Congaree is color B and then color A is the Great Smoky Mountains. They provided the yarn use for this blanket and it is perfect. I used just about all the yarn I had. I think I had one skein and a little bit left. Um, a little bit left of both colors plus one skein of the color B. So um, they really did provide quite a lot of yarn for me and I thank you, thank you, thank you for that. And this hook furls streamline swirl in cream. I love it. This is size H. And then both of these were provided for use for my project. So thank you to them for that. And thank you to you for watching this video and for participating in the monthly Mosaic Mystery Cow. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel for more tutorials and other yarn related content. And if you want to know more about the Monthly Mosaic Mystery Cow, make sure you check the links below. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.